Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and I'm here to show you the battle that is currently hold on top 1 in the Death Wave leaderboard. It is 7 minutes and 17 seconds. It was between Queen and Shomak. Uh, of course, Spirit Master in current week, it, ha it is not su a surprise, of course. Uh, with the weekly modifier, Spirit Masters are upgraded uh, like crazy. And of course Fortuna because it is right now, I'm pretty sure, the best choice for Spirit Master outside of Mari of course. It gives you damage, it gives you mana, it gives you uh, wave control, it gives you pretty much everything. Everyone is going for Fortuna so if you plan on going for a any legendary hero, go for Fortuna right now. It is currently I think uh, the best. Uh, versatile legendary hero for pretty much every deck so go ahead and do that uh, let's talk about uh, what equipment are they running of course spirit uh, spear for spirit master it's a must uh, of course hunter's jacket uh, we don't see um, faction bonuses of course uh, and amulet of swiftness brotherhood um, epic counter spell and uh, some random abundance. Um, I don't think she uh, went really uh, for this enchantment, just went for what she had. Uh, of course, uh, Spirit Master, left, right, left talents. Um, Night Statue, pretty much the same, right, left, right. It's pretty standard. Uh, Witch, all right, uh, Harlequin, all left, uh, you could also play the Jack in the Box talent, it is uh, good as well, so uh, you can play that, and Scrapper for wave control, wave control sorry, left, right, right, uh, just to stack your um, pretty much amulet and control your board uh, as much as you can. On the other hand, you have uh, Shomak, which has Hunter's Jacket as well, Spear, and Amulet of Swiftness as well. Uh, he has much better enchantments, double counter spell, which is gold, legendary, and generosity, which is very good for Spirit Master. Um, let's run quickly for talents. It's pretty much the same, the same, the same, the same, and the same. So talents are all the same, equipment differs a little bit, enchantments uh, on favor of Shomak, uh, Fortuna level of course on favor to Quinn. Uh, so let's just jump into the game and see how the match went. I will try to guide you and explain you how to set up your Spirit Masters, Knight Statues and uh, pretty much how uh, you can uh, maximize your Witch Stacks with Harlequin and how to control your Wraith. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. And we are already in the game. Uh, so quickly I will try to run you through how to play Spirit Master with Fortuna. Of course, if you play Fortuna in any deck, try to, well, try. You have to have your main DPS unit on the left side of your deck, uh, just so it is the chosen one. Um, so what I would do, and I'm so I'm guessing they they will also do that, uh, is to set up two knight statues right in the middle one uh, tiles, just to have six or even seven spirit masters in the late game, uh, and of course uh, three witches in this setup uh, will be enough. Uh, let's quickly run times four, I think. Let's volume down a bit so yeah they will be going for uh early night statue merge ranks with scrapper it is the best strategy because you want those night statues to be tier 7 asap then of course with weekly modifier you don't have to worry about merge ranks on spirit masters because eventually you will get them to tier 7 uh, pretty much every single one 
So what they do right now is to set up the knight statue to tier 5, tier 4, tier 6 uh, and then try to get as many knight statue stacks as possible. As you can see holding scrapper in the middle in between the knight statues just so you get uh, the, the stacks as high as possible. In the meanwhile of course coping which is with harlequin is the best strategy to maximize your witch stacks uh, as fast as possible <clears throat> sorry and of course uh, having like four spirit masters in early game just to control the wave uh, as we can see uh, shomak for now has a little bit more knight statue stacks but it is irrelevant uh, as soon as you just get uh, 40 50 or 60 uh, you stop going for knight statue stacks and you set up your seventh uh, spirit master so as you can see, Queen is already living up that 5th Spirit Master. As soon as she's done with Witch Stacks, he, she will set up the 6th uh, Spirit Master. And once she get like 50-60 stacks on Knight Statue, she will uh, hop onto the 7th one. At least that's what I'm guessing is the plan. Uh, as we can see, she's already done with uh, Witch Stacks. She already maxed the Witch and uh, Knight Statue levels. Uh, as you can see, both of them are using Fortuna on cooldown, so uh, I think that's the strategy with Fortuna, I guess. Uh, she already set up the Witches, which is um, pretty much usual setup. You can mix it up, like if you have it this way, you can have it this way, doesn't matter, just so all of your Spirit Masters are buffed. Uh, as you can see, like 40-50 stacks of Knight Statue and she's already setting up the uh, 7th Spirit Master just so it's upgraded uh, in time, of course, because it is already Death Wave, it is already 130, let's hop into times 2, we don't have to go that fast. Uh, what is important is also getting um, your Witch Merge Ranks to have a tier 3 at least for that insta-kill effect, it will help you control the waves uh, especially in the in the death wave it is incredibly useful uh, because uh, yeah monsters are running like crazy with bosses uh, so you don't really want to slack it off um, yeah so that will be half done three minutes uh, and we will see how it will be in late game I don't I personally went up to six minutes I think for now uh, I know that the ranking is, is bugged, some people are not there, they, sh they, they should be, but it is not showcasing, I hope they fix it ASAP. Uh, but for now we have to leave with what we have. Uh, as you can see, uh, Queen is trying to stay low on the ability of Spirit Master. She is currently staying at level 5, Shomak was on level 8. Uh, just a second ago. Oh, yeah, she he is on level 8. He's wasting a uh, quite ton of mana as you can see uh, Queen has 65k mana. I don't think mana is the problem when you run for tuna, especially when you have good enchantments for that uh, But yeah, we'll see uh, she's Constantly having uh, Up to 100 stacks on for tuna So that's also good for her and we'll see it's five minutes already bosses have around 250 million health of course the armor of bosses are increased uh, so that's not the same what it was in the last patch as you can see shomak starting to struggle a bit level 9 already queen is staying at level 8 uh we'll see how it goes um yeah six minutes and let's quickly run to times one and we'll see they both having problem with monkey king of course because it's just dropping uh spirit masters to sleep uh, but as we can see thanks to the fact that queen was staying low on the on the level of uh spirit master ability now she has the smaller problems with controlling the wave uh, because now Shomak has to pretty much use the ability to clear the wave uh, But the boss will hit anyway uh, Queen got hit at, as well, but she's clearing it a little bit faster And let's see the last 30 seconds. How will it go? 
queen has the ability to max the ability of spirit master so she is doing it right now uh, let's see how it will go Fortuna clearing the wave and Shomek will not get hit this time but I think on this mini boss he will get hit for the first time yes and uh, I'm pretty sure a monkey king will hit both sides they are not able to kill it and this is the record uh, I don't know why it showed 715 uh, as it was 717 uh, but that's that 10.5 uh, billion who would have thought that we will have a pretty much world record when the battle was only 10 and a half billion that's crazy but I think it's a good step towards uh, making the games much shorter uh, while keeping it competitive maybe a little bit more fixes here and there uh, but eventually they will make it uh, yeah, that was the world longest game so far in this patch. Hope you guys liked it. And next video, I'm planning to make a Fortuna Genie deck. I'm not sure it will be in this week uh, because of the, uh, the faction bonus. Uh, but I will be trying to explain you lots and lots of uh, top decks currently. Uh, so stay tuned, like the video, comment down below and yeah, hit that button, subscribe, uh, it will help me a ton. And see you guys in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.